welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you around my lovely new Blackstone grill. Now if you're in the UK you'll know how difficult it is to get a Blackstone grill. They are rarer than hen's teeth and when I posted this picture that I've got one on Instagram it went mad. Everybody was asking me where can I get one, can I order one, absolutely mental and everybody wanted me to do a review slash walk around of the grill so that is what I'm going to do today. And if you are in the UK and interested in buying one of these Blackstone grills, drop me an email below and let me see if I can get a big enough order together and we'll see what we can do, whether we can get you one. Okay, so this is the Blackstone Adventure Ready 28 inch grill, two burner. Now, if you're in the UK, you'll know how rare this thing is um, and it's really rare to get one in the UK. So I've imported it over from America um, so let's take a look at some of the features on this grill. So what separates this from other cast iron flat tops is how thick the cast iron is and how much space you've got and how the uh, H system burner on the Blackstone makes you have so much better heat distribution onto the cast iron. So we'll just measure what the cast iron top is and it's uh, just under 73 centimetres, which should be 28 inches, um, which is what it's called. You can see we've got these two uh, knobs here, which are to light the H underneath, which we'll come onto. Um, and you can see you can adjust it. So you just turn them in just like so, and you can adjust the temperature accordingly. Um, it is auto uh, ignition as well, so you don't need to get a lighter or anything like that. It will light itself. So that is the cast iron. As you can see, it's well seasoned and I also condition it as well, just to keep it in the best condition possible. I use the uh, Petromax conditioner here. Um, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to get any. So you also get this uh, little side shelf here that comes with it, which is really sturdy and really handy for resting your tools and things on. As you can see, I'm running it on a patio gas. So all I did was cut the US adapter off and put a UK adapter on there and it runs absolutely perfectly with this and the little bottle hook hooks on there, which makes it really easy to wheel around. You get a cool grab handle here, which you just can lift and move just like so. It's really easy to move around, which makes it easy for me to move around in the shack. One thing that I really liked um, and what separated the Blackstone compared to any other grill was how the grease is caught and all the crap. So you scrape all the grease into this back bit here, whereas a lot of them have got like a little funnel that goes in the corner there and they're prone to blocking up. Whereas this, you can see how big the gap is there. It just means you can scrape the crap straight into the pan there and that just comes off and you can just put that straight in the bin. You can also see that we've got a shelf here. Um, so underneath for storage, this also can really easily clip, unclip, which you can see the clip here and you just undo that and that comes out. And the reason that that comes out is because you've got this uh, clip here, which allows you to fold these legs down, which makes it even more portable. Hence it's called the Adventure because you can go anywhere with it and it literally, the top comes off and you just fold it down. So that's what it looks like with the uh, cast iron removed. You can get a little carry case for the cast iron top, then this just folds down, goes straight in the back of the car. Really good for if you go and camping or caravan or anything like that. So this is the H burner system that I spoke about. So you literally get a flame in the H, which allows you to really heat up the cooking surface. Or if you want to turn one down and have one hot, you can do that as well. Most of the stuff in the UK will just have one solid burner that goes across there which really isn't good for like burgers and things like that because you want to get a lot of heat into the cast iron and the ones in the UK just don't get that hot. So let's just fire it up and you'll see what I mean. There's that H flame that I said about. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. That is a solid H. And then we can fire up the other one as well. And there you go. That is a short overview of the Blackstone grill. Honestly, Nothing compares to a Blackstone grill. I've used loads of grill tops, and most of them are enamel based, which means that if you use a metal utensils and things, they just chip and they're just generally pretty crap. Also, the drainage system on the Blackstone is far superior to anything else I've used. As I said in the video, you get like a, it gets clogged up on some cheaper ones. Like I think it's the Buffalo where it's got a little drain at the front and it just gets clogged up with grease, which is, isn't good if you're doing an event or something like that. Whereas this, no problem. Scrape it into a tub over the back, massive hole in the back. 
I seriously rate this product, I really do. Um, I think it's probably the best built griddle I've ever used. Um, and just like everything from America, it is absolutely solid, and I mean solid. The cast iron top weighs about 30 kilos, just the top on its own. It's an absolute tank. So if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join me next time for another edition of Wheels Grill Shack. Thanks for watching.